Hey guys, Dave here in the Eastwood Garage, and today I'm gonna to talk about how easy it is to powder coat using the Eastwood PCS 250 powder coating gun from Eastwood. We're using the dual voltage gun because it's what you need for most powder coating jobs. Because the dual voltage is what allows you to get into the hard to reach areas, as well as the large flat areas. So why do you need a powder coating gun? First of all, one eight ounce bottle of powder covers the same area as two to three cans of paint. Plus it can be applied thicker than paint without running or sagging. And it emits near zero VOCs or hazardous waste. Simply sweep up the overspray. Plus it's more durable and chip resistant than paint. How resistant? Let's take a look at a test we did. One panel is painted and one is powder coated. Let's see what happens when we hit them with a pick hammer. As you can see, the powder coating is much more durable than paint. The paint chipped from the hammer blow, while the powder simply stretched without cracking or chipping. And if it survived the hammer blow, it'll survive most applications. Powder is also great at resisting brake fluid, making it perfect for powder coating brake parts like master cylinders and covers. Besides the durability, powder coating is simple. Start by cleaning your part with pre-paint prep, screw the powder bottle onto the gun, connect the airline with the PSI set between 5 and 10, and attach the ground clamp. Then just spray the powder. Simply work around the part, starting with the corners and edges, and then work to the larger flat areas. This is where the dual voltage gun really helps, because it allows you to get the best coverage in both the tight areas and large flat spots. And a great thing about powder, if you do make a mistake and maybe bump the part, all you have to do is blow it off and start over. Nothing like when you get a run in paint. When the part is coated, just place it in the oven to cure for about 20 minutes. But always check the manufacturer's suggestions for powder coating. When the part is fully cured, remove it from the oven, and because powder coating is so durable, your parts are gonna look great for a long time. A great way to change the appearance of powder is to simply change the base coat. This is an air cleaner that we top coated with Eastwood Rally Blue Powder. Again, one side is over the original chrome, and the other side is over the Eastwood Gloss White Powder. It's amazing the cool effects you can get by simply changing the base coat. Powder coating isn't just for car and motorcycle parts. Here at Eastwood, we even powder coat stainless tumblers and even mason jars to make candle holders. If you ever wanted to try powder coating, there's never been a better time than right now. Just click the link to visit eastwood.com to get your powder, gun, and all the supplies you need, and you'll be powder coating by next weekend. <laughs>